This is a no surprise that according to a report of an international va vaccine watchdog, 9 out of 10 people in the developing world could actually miss out on getting the COVID-19 vaccine by next year because many rich nations have begun hoarding far more doses than what they need for their populations. Now, according to the People's Vaccine Alliance, rich nations that are home to just about 14% of the world's population have already placed orders for about 53% of all the most promising vaccines so far. Now, the People's Vaccine Alliance is a coalition that includes the likes of Oxfam, Amnesty International and Global Justice Now. The international vaccine watchdog has said that pharma companies working on COVID-19 vaccines should openly share their technology and intellectual property through the WHO so that more doses can be manufactured. While high-risk groups in Britain had started receiving the first shot of the Pfizer vaccine on Tuesday, most people in the age bracket of 67 and above in lower middle-income countries are at risk of being left behind without being vaccinated. Now, the People's Vaccine Alliance in a report also said that almost all available doses of the Moderna and the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine have already been acquired by rich nations through their orders, while AstraZeneca and the University of Oxford have pledged to provide 64% of their doses to people in the developing nations that would only reach 18% of the world's population by the end of next year. Now the EU, the United States, Britain, Canada, Japan, Australia, Switzerland, Hong Kong, Macau, New Zealand, Israel and Kuwait have acquired about 53% of these potential doses, with Canada having purchased enough to vaccinate its population at least five times over. What will happen to people in the poorer nations of sub-Saharan Africa or Asia or perhaps even India is of course something that needs to be seen.